Hello everyone, I'm Dan Elzer, your co-host of Zap TV. I want to welcome you to today's show. For those of you who have not uh, participated in Zap TV before, I want to talk to you about how we work the system here and how things go. Uh, first, just so you know, this uh, show will be recorded and will be available again back on this same site within 48 hours after the 14th of February. Uh, but for you to communicate with us, <clears throat> what we'd like you to do is get your phone out. And in your phone, put into your text app 321-300-7759. What we'd like you to do is use that to communicate with us. Uh, ask questions, give a shout out, let us know, you know if you've got a group, where you are, and what you're doing. And uh, give comment and be a part of today's show. Uh, without any further hesitation, though, I want to go ahead and welcome in my co-host, Wayne Weaver, and Zap Expert. How you doing, buddy? Good, good. Good Thanks, to see Sam. you. Uh, last month, we had a pretty exciting show. Yeah. <coughs> yeah it, was, it, was, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> had some people reach out to me uh, on Facebook about, uh, we did, if you didn't make last month's show, we did uh, Mythbusters. We had lab coats on. and. My, my partner here shows up with a torch and goggles <laughs> ready to blow stuff up. So yeah, it, yeah. Was, it was a good show. I didn't get to blow anything <laughs> up, but it, it was fun to, to squash some myths. <laughs> squash some myths yeah. is right. So uh, to get started, to kick ourselves off, you've got some pretty exciting news about updates and uh, things that have happened. So uh, why don't you go ahead yeah. and let's just start with this app update. I know we got a, the app thing is pretty exciting. Yeah, so go yep, ahead. yep. So, uh, just three updates I want to talk about that um, the, the the mobile app is all brand new so um, it is, is you know we've been talking about it there's been agents across the country um, you know beta testing it and giving and giving feedback um, it is actually uh, the new app is live this morning so um, it will update uh, should update automatically um, throughout the day today um, if in, but we'll get live in that um, in our on the move section. Awesome. So to make sure you guys know, you know how to make sure you have the the, up, you know, the most up to date ones. So um, I love it. I was playing around with it this morning. It, it is user friendly. It's it's getting easier for us. It's getting clearer to get to certain spots. So very cool. But like I said, we will get into that live, um, you know, in the on the move section. Cool. So um, two other updates that we have um, that are. You know, really cool for us agents. Um, you know, kind of one of them making our life easier in the dashboard, and then one that is you know sort of driven to help us um, uh, get um, uh, you know share our, our our searches, kind of drive some folks directly to our website. So I'm going to actually just log in quick and just see if I can find. A, um, I want to make sure that I have a dashboard that has some uh, tasks on it. So uh, I'm going to go live in my dashboard and just show you guys, um, again, just, just one of the, the aspects, the tasks. So, you know, every time I'm out there, uh, you know, the, our, our entire team's out there, you know, people look at that task list and go, how do I get them off of there? Why are they on there? So um, just know that um, we actually just just in this update last night uh, made it a bit easier to you know to remove those and, and complete them. So very simple. Um, so here's a request from in, for request for info from Cheryl. So obviously I need to first you know hit the view details, kind of take a peek at what she might have been asking about, which house she may have been asking about. But just as, as simple as it is to you know reach out to her in this information at the top. Very simple, I can just hit that complete request. And once I hit that complete request and save it, Cheryl, in, once I refresh my dashboard, it'll, she'll actually come off of there and that task will be gone. So that's, that's one aspect that is easier. And then you'll see this task, uh, a showing request from John Doe. If I hit the actions button next to a showing request, you'll see that I actually have those three options. I can actually view it and so, oh, which property is uh, you know, John asking about? I could actually schedule a showing. He'll actually give me the information to schedule that or I can just mark it complete. And I don't have to, you know, I don't have to click into it and then click over here. So with just one click, I mark it complete. This actually takes me to the option of just leaving that property insight uh -huh. right on this page and not 
having to do it I've secondhand. I've heard the rumor so. that that's a really important thing yeah, to Yeah, yeah, we'll talk about property <laughs> insights in a little bit, but uh, extremely important that we can... Uh, so it prompts you and it yes. says, hey, give a property insight. Yeah, if you completed it and showed that house, saw it, previewed it, broke or open, you know, leave a property insight on it. But again, we will be doing, uh, we'll be talking quite a bit about property insights uh, in a little bit. But so, so that's one aspect that is, is, again, the platform, our folks in Emeryville working hard to make it just that much easier for us. So I, you know, I do love that piece. Um, and then the second piece that, uh, you know, that changed last night that I want to talk about are, are what we call shareable URLs. So if I do a search for a property, so actually I'm just going to, let me just pull up John. You know what, let me scroll down and I'm just going to pull up, let me see if I can find a regular name so I don't talk about, oh my gosh, we'll talk about eggs and bacon. Eggs and bacon. <laughs> so once this, once this pulls up, it's just, and, and I click the more button to sign in as contact. So no, really no matter where I am in the search for a property, um, you know, if I just simply type in just one zip code and hit search, what we actually have the ability to do now is grab this URL up here and add just, you know, and, and actually I, I have the ability to share that from that point on. So it's that simple, that simple of a thing, but what that will actually do is, is, is save that search and link it to me so I can put it on Facebook and go, here are all the houses for sale um, between 200, 200 and 300,000 uh, in Bemis Point, New York. You know, and it would actually link that back to me so um, very cool. Um, it's actually the, the number three requested uh, update that, that agents have been asking about. Um, so again, just kind of leading back to the fact that uh, we do listen. Um, so when folks actually tell us that, um, you know, that we are, um, you know, we, we are listening and actually making changes based on what you've so said. So top three requests. <clears throat> And that URL, so you put it yep. out there, and it's all the houses, like you said, let's say you know, under $200,000, Bemis Point, New York, boom. Um, question for you, once you make that search, place that URL, does it stay current or does it yep. stay with what you did when you searched? Yes, yeah, absolutely, it'll stay, it'll stay current, so anytime anybody clicks on that, kind of regenerates for, forever, it really just goes <laughs> to the ERA.com site pulls the property, here's everything available right now in, in Bemis Point, two to 300. Um, but the key is, is that um, it, it will always be linked to you. So right. that's the key. So like it's me marketing, this is everything available. You know, if you so, need anything, come right. back to me and, I, and I'm happy to help you. So any interest will drive back to you, gives you the opportunity to close. Sure, and, and I'm just gonna, I'm gonna actually take you live for just a second and just show you how easy it is to to just get some more information on that, you know, um, if I hit this support button on the left-hand side at the bottom, um, this page pops up, and if I just click on the community, so this is where we can post suggestions and things, and you'll just see the very first article is what we call Zap Updates. So this is what changed in Zap last night while we were sleeping. So the idea is if I scroll down this list, you know, pretty much what we talked about today is in this, but you will see that one of the articles is unique shareable search URLs. And I can, you know, I'll read that article, you know, know that I have to add something at the end of that search to link it to me, but that, that, that's the more information that'll actually make it work for you. So I love the update. I love marketing. Um, you know, here's everything available. Here's all the waterfronts. Here's all the school districts, things like that. Whatever search you do, you can just share that in, in again, marketing yourself along with here's everything available. So. Awesome. That is great. Well, guys, again, they're paying attention. You're getting some great updates. I know there's some more coming down the pipe. Yes, very we're soon. Gonna be, very we're going to be real excited. Uh, Carl, Carl Johnson just gave us a shout out. Okay, hey, Carl. Uh, uh, if you're with more than yourself, tell us not only who you are if you're giving us a shout out. Tell us how many are with you and tell us where you're, yeah, where you're shouting you out from so. Uh, so we can say hi back. Okay, so there's our Zap update. Now, the theme for this show today is maximizing your online presence. And we've talked about this before in other shows. You know, let's maximize our on online presence. But help me out here. Why 
is this such a big focus? Why should, why should all of us say, you know, this time around, I need to be focused on doing that? Yeah, um, you know, the, the Zap piece, you know, the platform in general, um, you know, I've always said I absolutely love the CRM piece. The Zap score is unbelievable for us. So that whole aspect of it. But, you know, one of the largest pieces in Zap is the agent marketing piece. Is me, is, it, is Zap helping me as just an agent, not a brokerage, not ERA as a whole, just helping me market myself, put myself out there. Who can I tell I'm an agent? Let, it, let the world know it. So, and it's just a piece that, that, you know, once you do it, people are like, why didn't I do that earlier? But um, it's just a piece that, that some folks are just, you know, we're just lagging behind. Uh, so we're just trying to keep it in front of mind if, if you have some time. Um, to work hard and, and just, and again, just marketing yourself. Cool. So at the end of the day here, <clears throat> this thing is our digital assistant again. And there's things we need to do to make sure that we have this online presence so it will come back. And if I'm not doing it correctly, if I'm not following through, then I'm not going to get the results. Correct. And we hear all the time out there, you know, yeah, okay, zap, yeah, but, and what do we always hear? <laughs> I don't have time. Too busy. So, too busy. So, here's what I want to share with you today, folks. We're going to give you some amazing things. And to be, to really run a sustainable business and leverage this for all it is worth to drive you business to where it's finding you clients, it's sending you opportunities, you're not having to purchase them or go out there and pay to get leads. This can help you dramatically if you follow through. So I want you to think about block time management. We've talked about it many times. Everybody has the same amount of time in every day, but some get a heck of a lot more done. And they're the ones who are proactive and actually plan to execute. So if I asked you, you know, hey, if there was a uh, million dollar buyer, I'm a million dollar buyer. Here's a sheet. Yeah. This is my, my, my approval letter from my bank. I got the main bucks. I'm ready to go. I'd like Thursday of your time to go buy my property. How many agents would go, yes? Probably yeah, all of them, right? Absolutely. Everybody. Everyone would find that so, time. So now you'd find the time for me because here's a million bucks. I'm going to make a transaction. You're like, let's go. And what happens then, I always say, what if, what if someone called you and said, hey, but I need you to do something on Thursday? What would you tell them? And they always go, I, I tell them I can't. I, I mean, I've got a million dollar buyer. Yeah, I'm busy. <laughs> Folks, the things that we're going to share with you today are multi-million dollar opportunities if we follow through. So block time management is about taking a little block of time and making it sacred. No different than the million dollar person. Here's an hour on this day each week that I'm going to do my zap stuff. Here's an hour each, you know, once a week that I'm going to do this. And nothing will get in the way of that. Treat it as a real career where you wake up and you're in charge of it and this is what I'm going to do. So we're going to, we're going to touch back on that concept, that technique, if you will, throughout today because it is so critically important that you follow through to get the maximum result out of Zap. Now I've right. got a couple questions for you real quick uh, that came in on the update. Uh, can you do that with two zip codes? Does that? Um, the shareable URL, um, the search, I don't care what I search. I can, I can do two or three zip codes. I can go price range. I can search bedrooms, baths, condo, whatever I search and hit search, that URL at the top is what we want to copy. Add that little question mark referred by you know, agent equals wayne.weaver at eoa.com, which is all in the community. Um, whatever I search, so we'll it doesn't linked. matter. So it doesn't matter. How I, wide I, or, I could, or narrow yep, or whatever. Yep, okay. yep. I, whatever I search. So and then, good, good question. And so. then on the app, um, they asked, would I ever be able to log in as contact from app? I find I'm always away from my computer when I'm trying to set up a new lead. <laughs> yeah. Um, right, right now we can't. Um, I'm going to tell you two things that um, this app is, is, you know, was built for a reason. We didn't just update the other one. This one was built for the fact that we, we, our goal is to do as much as we can on the app, and this app will allow us to do that. Um, but I'm also gonna tell you to go to the community um, and just it again. Yeah, and post a suggestion or, or look at the suggestions and either find someone else that may have said that and like it, or just suggest that. And, and that's how we make changes is, oh, what should we do to the app next? Oh, well, let's add so that we can sign in, you know, set up a listing alert or assign a follow-up plan while I'm on the run you know, on my phone. So the, please, you know, post that stuff in the community under suggestions. 
but just know that you know we are making the app or our goal is to make the app uh, uh, just continue to get better for us so that when we're on the run. Okay, so now we're going to move into our next section, which is day in the life of a Zap agent. This is where we give you how you should be operating each day. That it's a work day. Remember, we don't work every day. Each day it's a work day. This is how we should be operating. And a small piece of each day can be dedicated to updating, checking our scores, doing all the things we've talked about in past ones, but we're going to be real specific this time Correct. based on that theme. So the first thing we're going to look at is the SEO playbook. Now, when we talk about the SEO playbook, I know we've talked about it before on shows, but help me understand why is it so important and where do we find it to start working with it? Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, it's very simple that, um, you, know, every, you know, when it was introduced, it, you know, it, I look at it and, and I, I have no choice because I am, you know, I, I can be somewhat techie, but, you know, some very smart people that know a lot about Google SEO and search engine optimization and just showing up in places when someone does a search, um, you know, so it's designed to just help us, me as a person, just me, me as the agent, show up in you know, everywhere I can. If someone is gonna do some sort of real estate search, ask a question, just ask anything real estate related, I need to be an option for them to find. And that's what the SEO playbook is, is very simple. You know, it's a checklist of things that as we do them and as we should be doing them, um, you know, we are setting ourselves apart online from every other agent in our market. We, we will be okay. set apart and, and be... So you're creating your winning difference by following yes. through and these tasks that are in the SEO playbook are de designed and developed by the pros that create and understand how things are filtered in searches. Correct. Okay. so. SEO, search engine optimization, the playbook, it's incredibly important, but again, we hear, oh, I didn't get to it, I'm too busy. busy. Okay, so we're gonna, uh, Wayne's gonna show you right now where to go to, to, to do it, where it's located, and we're gonna walk you through some ideas on how you can really make this happen. So yes. where, where do we find it? To Absolutely, begin so if I just simply go live in the dashboard, and um, you know, it's under the My Website page. So hopefully you guys have seen the My Website page. We've actually talked about it a lot. And, and you really should, you know, be logged in, um, you know, and have done some stuff on this My Website page. But if I just scroll down the My Website page just after this local insight piece, you will, I mean, very simple, you'll see the local SEO playbook. So when that, um, uh, you know, when I see this, um, it is, I have to know that this, this is just a checklist. So, you know, no matter what I've checked on it, if, if anything is checked in this list, it's because I've completed that, you know, task, that, that, that you know, I've completed that one piece. So when I look at this, you know, I can simply, you know, often when we first look at this, we look at it and go, what? Like, Wow. Why, should, why should I do that? Right. How would I do that? Like, what does that even mean? So, you know, if you just pull Yelp, for instance, you know, and if I just kind of hover over that, create a Yelp profile, you will see next to it a learn more. If I just simply click that, takes me to the, you know, to the support page, you know, support side of Zap, and actually will walk me through why? So wait a minute, wait a minute. So you're telling me if I click on that link, it's going to give me a step by yeah. step what to do? Yeah, I mean, it's like, oh. why should I do this? Like, you know, what if I'm filling out a profile, what should I fill out on it? I mean, it's all about, you know, understanding the SEO playbook and why it's so important. Okay, so you were you were on on Yelp. Can you demonstrate one for us that we can yeah, take? Yeah, yeah. So if I just if I just look at this and go, you know what? Today I'm going to set aside some time and I am going to create a Yelp profile for my business. You know, I may still may be thinking, I don't know why I'm doing it, but I'm going to do it because <laughs> someone smart has told me to do it. So, you know, very important to know that if I just check this off, that did not create a Yelp profile there you go. for me. And I think that's so, important. It's yeah, because yeah. So people it, that aren't techie might think that yeah, it's automatic. You know, a checklist. So really all I'm going to do is I am just going to open up a window, you know, just a new one, and I'm just going to go Yelp. To Yelp.com. And when I go to Yelp.com in the upper right hand corner, I am going to sign up. And I'm really, all I'm doing is telling Yelp and really the world 
that I am a professional real estate agent in this market, you know, in my market. So and that's all I'm going to do. Um, very important to know that um, whether it's this profile or any profile that you create, fill out the profile. Have a picture, have your name, put whatever information you can in there. Especially your URL to your website. The, the website is Critical. crucial that we add it. Uh, okay. And that's, that, that's the difference. So, you know, it's not I have a profile, my name's on there, no picture. I have a profile, my picture. It's got my website URL. Tons of information. So it's, so it's, a, so it's a high quality profile, not just one that I have. Okay, so back to that high quality. <laughs> I want you guys to think about whenever you have gone online and you see a profile that's missing a picture that's missing information, yeah. immediately you discount that as someone who's not serious about the business. Correct. So if you're going to do this, take the time to do it. So if I was going to do it seriously, if I was going to sit down, maybe have to you know, go on my desktop, find my picture, you know, do everything, look everything up, really, how much time am I, am I looking at? I mean, it, it's not even a techie thing, because you create a profile. Like if I went and bought a shoes somewhere, I, I'm first name, last name. I mean, it's, it's constantly you know, do. But I may have to go grab, like you said, grab my picture. Where is that picture? You know, I'm going to say a half an hour would be more than enough time to fill out, you know, one of those profiles. Okay, now let's see if it's worth doing. I'll go back to block time management. Now, first of all, there are 25, you said? Yes. So there are 25 of them. Remember the elephant, one bite at a time. I don't have to do all 25. Yesterday I didn't have them working for me. I don't need them working tomorrow, but I need to take it one bite at a time. So if I took in my block time management and said, I'm going to put once a week, Monday morning, you know, before things heat up, eight to nine, I'm gonna get up, maybe even before I go into the office, get my cup of coffee or my cereal, and I'm gonna make sure that I am pulling off one of the 25. And it's only 30 minutes and I get it done. Okay. So if I do that, every week, in, before half the year is out, and inside of half the year, I'll have all 25 of the SEO playbook working for me. Where would that put me percentage-wise, would you say, in the agents that are trying to get SEO? Yeah, um, if you did all to 25. top tier. Top tier. Top, top tier, 100%. Um, yeah, and, we, and we, t we were talking about this earlier. Like, this, this is never gonna happen tomorrow. Right. Like, I'm not gonna go, oh, I'm so busy today. I'll do it tomorrow. Like it's never gonna happen where you sit down and just rattle through all 25 because there's always something going on. So like Dan said, I love the fact, just grab one. You know, you can get, a, you can get aggressive and do one a day for 25 days or do one a week. Like 25 but weeks. But it will make a difference, you know, on two and three and four. And then you're, you're just chipping away at it. It's not like I, I got to stop selling today right. so that I can do my SEO playbook. We know it's not going to happen. Okay, I got another question for you. You picked Yelp. And I know you like Yelp. We've talked about it before. Yeah. So why Yelp? What, what is it about Yelp that, that you say, God, we got to do that one? Yeah. Is, it, is it really that good of a return to be on Yelp? Yeah, so for, just, just first of all, like just know that that list of 25 things was created um, with, with essentially the search engines in mind. So it, it's not just haphazardly put together like, yeah, Yelp sounds good, let's add it. It's all because there are search engines, Google, Yahoo, Bing, that say, hey, there are a lot of people that go to Yelp. There are a lot of people that go to YP to look for real estate. So, I mean, Yelp, for instance, um, about 5.3 million people go to Yelp every single month, not year, every month, and, and, and ask we, some minute, sort of real estate question. 5.3 million people a month use the term real estate on Yelp. How much is that house? Where is okay. this house? That's worth an hour of my time on Monday <laughs> yeah. to make sure we're there. And this is what we're getting at, folks. We're not trying to make it uh, elementary and, and like it's so simple. It is hard. We are busy and we respect that. But if we don't follow through, we don't create sustainable businesses. We don't create that business that keeps paying us back. Correct. We create every day as a new day that we have to go out and make a business. So take that block time management thought, put it down. Go knock them out, 25 days, 25 weeks, doesn't matter, yep. but get it done. And Yelp, right there, just that one working for you will be amazing. Yep. Um, had a shout out here, don't know who, just said, we're doing a good job, oh, thank you. That's one of my uh, peeps, I, auto, sh I should recognize. Yeah, 716, uh, autoresponder, should we be doing autoresponders on the MLS and Zap at the same time, or one or the other? Uh, I'm gonna say um, just Zap. So um, just for I the- I knew you were gonna say yeah, that. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's a surprise. No, and there's a reason, uh, and there's yeah, a reason. Yeah, um, mainly because um, 
you know, with Zap, um, I love the fact that I can send it through Zap and, you know, it starts with, um, if I set you up on an autoresponder, um, uh, I know if you open up the email, I know if you look at a house in the email I send you, I know if you look at, you know, open up the email, look at a house and save a house um, with one button, one button from the email, my website or my map, you can say, I want to see that house. Right. So I can send you an email and you look at 123 Main and go, I want to see that. And I get a text message in seconds that says, and you're still looking at the email. So, so many aspects of, of, of analyzing the ZAP score. And why they should yeah. do that. And if, and if, you know, if I send them two, I really don't, I don't want them to open up the MOS today and the ZAP one tomorrow. And, you know, the, the ZAP one is everything that's available in the MLS. So why not? Yeah, you know, so I would just send one and, and I love sending the zap one because of what I can watch and, and track and how easy it is then for the to push one button and get a hold of me from that point on. Shane says hi. Oh Shane. Uh, when would we be able to link our Yelp page to our Zap profile. Doesn't that happen automatically if you go through? Yeah. Now, actually, the Yelp is not connected yet. They're working on. Uh, they're working on Yelp. Um, actually, Yelp can be. So I apologize. I was thinking. I was thinking Pinterest for some reason. We can link our Yelp profile. So um, let me go live real quick. We got a couple seconds here, so I'll quick show you how to go. You know how to link that. So if I actually just scroll up to the top of the My Website page, you will see that there's a Yelp, this is the Yelp logo. So if I just simply create my Yelp profile and have it sitting there and come back here and just click in this box, you will see that I can just copy my, you know, so if I'm in my profile in Yelp, I just copy that URL, paste it, save it, and now my website um, with one clicks from my website, somebody can get to my Yelp profile. So, in, in obviously, same with Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Google+, and then the, the last one is Yelp. So, um, good question. I'm, I had to think through that. We are in the process of Instagram, Pinterest, some of the other sites. So that's what I was thinking when, when there are some still coming for that. Okay, so that's SEO Playbook. One bite at a time, make it happen. You'll be in the top tier of agents. Second thing that we're going to look at in the day in the life of Zap is property insights. Now, you get passionate. I know you love property <laughs> insights. Yeah. We've talked about them before. Again, what's the importance of the property insights? So, I mean, we really, we have the ability to, you know, we're in properties. You know, we're previewing, we're sh open houses, we're actually showing them. And you know what? We actually have listings. So, um, Zap allows us to just say, you know, we actually just tell the system, I was in that house. I don't care whose listing it is, it can be any listing in the MLS. Any listing in the MLS, as long as it's active, I can simply tell the platform, I was in that house for some reason or another. This, this is just, a, just, just two or three sentences about what I thought about that house. Um, it, so why is that important though? Because they, so I could be at a house, and, and I am going to show you how to do a, a property insight live on the mobile app uh, towards the, you know, just a little bit. but. I can actually just say I was in that house and the second I save it, I told the system I was in the house, this is what I thought, I hit save. That immediately gets posted to my personal website as a property I've toured and I get, and I actually get uh, linked, my picture, my name in, the, in my comments um, to the national listing details page for that property. So I can just go see, you know, 240 Lakeside in Bemis and say I saw it and then I could immediately go to ERA.com and look at 240 Lakeside and Bemis, scroll down through just as a consumer would that you know, doesn't even know me and I scroll down through and there I am. They will see my picture, my name, and my comments and with one click from the national level, from the national level, ERA.com, they You're can there. get directly to my website. Okay, so when we did this last time, we talked about the importance of it. And obviously, this also is driving our SEO, our organic search, all Ab of that. Absolutely. But I love that we, in the show that we had a few months back and we talked about leveraging Zap for listings, you, we, we brought up property insights. And you brought up the young lady, month and a half in the business. Yes. She purposely went into a marketplace that was a high price point marketplace that she would have felt she would have never been able to go and got, get a listing. So she went in there on purpose again, repeatedly went in and previewed properties that were not hers and made insights. 
And lo and behold, she gets a phone call from a seller in that market that didn't say, hey, I'm seeing your insights, what's going on? No, called and said, hey, we need to sell our house. You're obviously the expert. Can you come take care of us? If you want, again, part two of this, block out. I'm going to purposely do insights on my own properties. I'm going to do insights on the properties in the area that I want to dominate, and especially do insights on properties in the area that I want to become the expert for listings. So all yeah. of this can help propel you into that market. Correct. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's, it's crazy what they're doing. So right now, one stat we have is that, I, you know, for, for me as an agent, if I do one property insight, that is leading to three and a half times showing, you know, more showing requests than an agent that didn't. So, and, you know, when, when, and then we talk about the agent that, you know, that's, that we, we, always, we always mention those because that agent knows there is no chance I would have ever had a chance to get well, that had listing. the courage so, to go in there as yeah. a month and a half and go, yeah. hey, I want to list this, you know, X hundred thousand dollar house. Yeah and that helped. So you become the expert. Anytime people are searching, looking, you keep coming up with your picture and your professional opinion. So keep it, keep it professional. Keep it professional, keep it ethical, simple. always be ethical. Yes. Be don't, don't, don't beat up on a property. I mean, be that, you know, be at the top of your game when you, when you do that. Yep. Okay, the next one we want to talk about, again, that is important. And we'll, we'll get into the property reviews, how to. Because yes. you're going to do them on your I'll, app. I'll show you how to do yeah. it on the phone while you're standing in the house. Zap reviews. Again, why zap reviews? What is that doing for us when it comes to this digital assistant of ours? And why should we be doing it? So if we get one zap review, so if I just ask one person, hey, review me, I mean, the, the second I get that, it will actually post immediately. Um, to my personal website as a, as a review. So someone can, you know, I start, uh, I start being starred and then I actually get, um, you know, then they're actually formulated on my website. So I am changing my, the, the power of my personal website in the Google search engine optimization world by asking for a review and actually getting it. So that's the first place. The second place, just like the insights that we can do, of course I love my personal website changing and being more powerful. Um, but just like the insights posting nationally, um, the reviews will, will rank you at the national level. So someone can you know, get to ERA.com, I either need to look at a property or I need to, you know, I'm going to find an agent and I'm going to do zip code, I'm going to do a town search and, and the, the, the agents with reviews will rank at the top of that list. I don't care how many it is, it can be 10 people, it can be 400 people, but the, the reviews, the reviews will top. populate to the top. So just like the insights, the reviews are going to drive this. So the old saying, how do you get a good review? Ask, ask for ask it. Ask for it and, and don't take somebody for granted. And don't so, take someone for granted. Yeah. And remember, if someone had a good customer experience with you, have the conversation with them before you send them the request. You know, say that if you enjoyed the experience you had with me and uh, I would really appreciate if you would share that for others because if others know that I can deliver on that customer experience, I can help people just like yourself, I'll be sending you something. So we do have the ability to send that, that Cor review request. Correct. Right? Yep. So I will quick show you, yep. um, you know, how easy Wait, it is. While you're doing that, go ahead, uh, Dale, <laughs> Team VP. Uh, yeah. Go Top Gun. Oh, I First should have of all, known the numbers. Sh the, the a shout out to you. And they want to talk about how great of a job you're doing, Wayne. Oh, so shout you. out to Team VP. I appreciate that, Mr. Sandberg. Congratulations. So if I go live in my platform, um, and, and let me just pull up, um, so, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm Al the agent, and I pull up, and, you know, again, any, the, the fact is, is that anybody in my system, I can add whoever I want in this system, I can ask them to review me. Past clients, of course. Current clients, uh, professional friends, a banker I have, a, you know, just did a deal with. I pull up Charlie, he is somebody in my system, I just simply click this more button and scroll down to ask for a review. I, I, you know, I reach out to Charlie, I'm gonna actually send him this email and if I scroll down to the very bottom, right hand side, send email, that is all I have to do to ask Charlie to review me. He'll get an email, he clicks write a review, leaves the review, and, and, you get I, to and I have a review. But you get to approve so, that review, correct? No, no, it actually gets posted immediately. Okay. So that's why we reach out to them. Okay. That's why we make it, make it known to them. We don't take them for granted and they're important to us. Awesome. And then we actually get one back. So I'm gonna real quick, I got 30 seconds. I'm gonna show you 
the, at the national level what a review looks like. Cool. So okay. if I just simply go to, so I'm going to go live, buddy. If I just go to ERA.com at the national level and, and, and just know that at this, at this point, I have no connection whatsoever to an agent. I don't know an agent. I'm not trying, you know. But if I just simply click find an agent and I just go to a zip code, type in a town that I am looking for, you know, for an agent in that town, you will see this will give me a list and you will see that Jane is at the top of that list because she has reviews. Jane is still five out of five. But if I scroll down this list, you're going to see a bunch of folks with reviews and then it's just going to stop. And these folks don't have reviews and they're just sort of segregated to, you know, ju just, just, they're just not going to get the attention that these folks with reviews will. Like, like no, we're going to, a consumer is going to scroll down that list and they're going to stop when the reviews do and go, well, my agent is one of those folks that have a review up, up top. So, um, and just for instance, Cindy is in a, uh, and actually Taylor relatively, newer agents. So in this list, Jane, you know, Jane's uh, experience at the top, but, but these three right here are newer agents that, you know, that's, that, that folks are calling them up going, hey, I want to work with you, not asking how long you've been doing this and things like that. And that's what those reviews do. So that's at the national level, separating, uh, separating agents by reviews. Dale said, can we do bulk reviews? We cannot do bulk reviews, but we can do bulk emails but yeah no we cannot do bulk reviews more personal we really just need to one off them so that we we know that person's going to going to be good to us but we can't just remember we can review anybody we want Roger you just if you're asking me Roger said am, am I doing a session at Vegas next week yes i will be at IVC uh, doing two or three sessions on Wednesday so come see me and on Monday check the session we have three zap sessions um, a beginner, an intermediate, and advanced. Um, there's three sessions, and then on Tuesday, all day, we'll be doing one-on-ones. So there'll be two there of us go. there doing one-on-ones. So check the. Um, so it, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, you're yeah, now yeah, 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 yeah. You'll be covered with uh, <laughs> Zap, and then uh, just see Dan if you can for for great technique stuff. So. Okay, so those are the reviews. So we should be doing those three things. And again, think about your block time management. You can actually scroll away these little blocks, hold them sacred, and before you know it you'll be able to uh, accomplish things and never miss that time. Never, ever miss that time. So let's move into Zap on the Move and let's show them that new app, okay? Yes. So I'll go live on my phone and, and just talk about the app. Um, if you have the old one, uh, the new one, it, it should update kind of throughout today, maybe overnight, you'll get that little message, you know, you should update this app. Um, at worst, you can just delete that old one and just go research for it and it will download the newest one. But this, is, uh, this has been in beta for, um, uh, for probably two or three months. So a lot of agents have been on it, uh, giving, you know, giving advice to, um, you know, to, to our group that's putting this together. But redesigned, um, uh, more user friendly, um, will be a building block for more features to be added to the app. So I'll be able to, you know, the goal is to be able to completely run my business top to bottom with my app while I'm running around. So that's the idea. So, you know, just know, you know, we search contacts by Zap score. We can look for folks. We can call, email, or text, all that stuff. But if I just want to show you how to do a property insight, so we that's talked about how important they are. Exactly. So we're going to just show I'm you. I'm pretty how, passionate about yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So uh, you know, just <laughs> how, how easy it is to do on the app, again, while you're standing in the house. So just from the home dashboard, you'll see in the very upper left-hand corner, a plus. So if I just kick, click that plus in the upper right-hand corner, upper left-hand corner, sorry, um, you'll see that I can do any one of those things. And I just need to click new showing. And this is the page where I'm actually going, going to do the property insight. So it's that simple. I'm, I'm going to actually find, you know, I'm going to find the property. And then I'm going to, you know, add a contact, which can be my name or the person I happen to show it to. You know, I'm actually going to go through that. And then I just simply click that dark blue, add property insight. And this is where I'm going to leave my ethical, professional, honest opinion about the house. But very simple, huge backyard, 
walk to school. Um, Great you know, for a family. Yeah, uh, updated, um, full basement, first floor bedroom, whatever sets that house apart in your mind, we're just going to actually talk about it. But just know when I save that in the upper right hand corner, that's where it's getting posted to my personal website and the national listing page, the, the home detail page at the national level for that property. I, I am an agent that has seen that property. And again, those are driving uh, showings directly to the agents that are doing them. That's a, that's a stat we have. So, so, so when we're just out there, um, and, our, and we're gonna, we always have our phone with us. I mean, you're never not yeah. without that phone. It's within three feet of you, they say, at all times. So when we're out there and we're doing this, you can come back to us, buddy. The, the, um, the act of doing that, of just sitting down and giving two, three lines about a property is, is minutes in your book. But again, if I, if I plan like that young lady did, and I said, okay, I wanna get into Sweetwater, that's where I wanna be. So once a week, I'm gonna go into Sweetwater and preview three houses. I'm gonna, I'm gonna block off an hour. Uh, maybe it's lunch, maybe it's after lunch. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna block off an hour, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna preview three homes, I'm gonna do the insights, and I'm gonna go back to work. And I'm just gonna keep doing that throughout that marketplace. Maybe do a, an area insight on the, on the park or, or something. Sure. So no matter where people go, when they're looking at things in Sweetwater, they're gonna keep seeing Dan, Dan, Dan. And that's the big deal to get that organic drive, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, I call it, you know, we all farm. We, you know, we used to do postcards. We used to do this. We've talked about that in the past. So I'm just going to go see every single property that comes up for sale in Chautauqua. And I'm going to completely set myself apart as the agent that knows Chautauqua. And I will, you know, it will lead to every stat we have, you know, people calling us up to show properties, list properties, you know, setting ourselves apart in that zip code, in that price range, in water, in the lakefront or school district, whatever. Pick a market, farm it, you know, in, in one of the pieces of the farming, our property insights. So let me just touch on, uh, if you got a question, fire it in. I think we got to all the questions, so I think we're good. But think of it this way. You call on an expired, you knock on a FISBO's door, you're at a community get together. If you really want to take away those fears that we all have, that rejection fear, that uncertainty fear, by being so present in the marketplace when it comes to the, the online presence of you. I mean, between Amazon and, and Walmart right now, with all of the simplicity of doing transactions online, we already know buyers go there to start looking. We know about the cycle of how long. But if you're out there and present because you took a couple hours a week to do this, you could actually knock on the door of someone and they look at you and go, hey, you, I know you. Yeah. And that is such a great feeling. The credibility you'll get, the recognition that you will get because you followed through on this digital assistant here to maximize Zap. Yep, exactly. So I'm gonna give one quick shout out okay. to Michael Melton, who is with ERA First Advantage. And okay. he hit 100 reviews this week. He's got 100 reviews. So. It actually caused a glitch in the system because <laughs> it stopped at 99. They, uh, somebody must have thought, eh, 99 is good. So in, in about an hour, we actually had that fixed. It, it goes past 100 now, but I was so impressed to see that um, we've worked with them quite a bit, and Kayla does an unbelievable job yes. at First Advantage. So, Shout out to um, First Advantage yeah, yeah, for yeah. sure. So 100 reviews, that is so cool. So any closing thoughts on the use of SOE, the playbook, or anything? Yeah, I'm just going to say um, you have to start it today. You know, you've seen, right now you've seen, you know, five properties in the last week or two or three, whatever. You know, if they're still active, you can, you can still do those. Ask today for two or three reviews and then do one of the property or one of the SEO playbook pieces. You know, it's never going to just be done. I'm not going to, tomorrow I'm not going to go, oh, I'm going to do all of that yep. tomorrow. But, you know, it's that, and then I swear, I mean, we see it across the country, you know, a month from now, you're just, things are just going to start happening. And your website, you know, is just climbing up that, you know, search engine optimization ladder. And, and you're just starting, and then it's just routine. In a year from now, you can have 150 reviews, you know, two, and then 200, and then 250. And just, you'll just be the, the star in the, in the crowd uh, when, when that happens. There so. it is, guys. There it is. One bite at a time, a little block time management, you can make it happen. So our next Zap TV is going to be on March 21st. 
1 p.m. Eastern Time, same time for you. Uh, we'll bring you another show with some great information, the latest updates, and make sure we keep you on top of things. So, I want to thank you, Wayne. Absolutely. It was a pleasure, a great show. Folks, I hope you enjoyed it. So, for my co-host, Wayne, I'm Dan Elzer, and we'll see you at the next Zap TV. We'll see you in Vegas.